This is my Ego Tactical uh, Fishing Gear Backpack that I use. We'll just walk around it here really quick. We've got a couple pockets on the front. There's two pockets on the side. Uh, on the back hand here, you can obviously see padded shoulder straps. I've got a holder here for a pliers and a hook remover that I like to use out on the ice. I've got a zipper pocket on the top. And then on the other side, we've also got a couple of pockets as well. All right, so on the top of the bag, I've got two of the line cutters, little bands that you can actually hook up to and put on a rod on your finger or whatever works for you. These things are great. You can see there's a little blade on either side. You just swipe the line through and it cuts it. I use this a lot when I'm retying jigs. What you're gonna see is everything that I keep inside of it. So I've got a digital weight scale. Uh, some tournaments, sometimes you like to weigh the fish. Most of the time I just uh, measure it and take photos that way. Uh, I've got a angled pliers here. This is great for hook removing or you know pinching down split shots. I've got another uh, little hook remover pliers here that I like to use. It's really compact and really reach down into the, the mouth of the fish if needed. Of course, we've got a blade here in case I need to cut line or cut something open. I've got a multi-tool here, which is great. You never know when you need a little pliers or a straight head or something else. This guy comes in handy. A great little line cutters here. This thing's awesome if you just want something a little bit portable just to snip the line or anything like that. Cleaner for the eyes on your jigs. You just put it on there. This thing tends to uh, punch really well and work great. And then lastly, what I keep in this little pouch is my little UV glow uh, flashlight. All right, so on the top of the bag, there's a big zippered compartment. This is where I keep all of my jigs, spoons, and everything. You can see everything stacks in here pretty nice. I'll go through these boxes individually, but you'll see I've got a stack of these Plan D cases, a stack of these micro jig uh, groove cases. I've got a clear case, and then I've got two of these. Well, this one's pretty empty, but I've got two of those in this guy. If I slowly start pulling this stuff out, you can see how manageable it is to get the stuff out of here. Um, I absolutely, this is the most accessed part of my bag, which is why everything's right here on top. I usually keep the boxes on the top of these stacks that I use the most, um, which I'm going to show you here soon. So it's a big, open, empty compartment. You can fit some Plano cases or whatever you use. I found these smaller cases to work best for me. All right, so here's a top-down look of all of the boxes that I pulled out of that top uh, section there. Again, I've got eight of the micro jig groove cases. I've got a couple of these piranha clip cases, which I'll talk about here in a second. This guy is just a, a Plano double-sided plastic case where I keep, you can see I've got a bunch of my split shots in here. I've actually got some tungsten split shots in there. I've got a, uh, a depth setter. I've got some swivels. I've got my little glow things in here. Um, some quick clips, some knots and ties. So that's this guy right here. And then I've got my Plan D cases. These I have found to be the best for spoons uh, in order to keep them stored away so that you have a lot in a little bit of space but they don't get all tangled up. I'll go ahead and open one of these up and kind of show you what they look like. All right, so I opened up four of the five. I'm gonna open this one up here. You can see it's uh, gray on both sides. It's got a little sticker on it that says waterproof vent inside. Uh, that's to keep things from rusting and when you get them in there wet. It's just a little clip. You can see you just open it up there. Once you flip it open here, you can get access to everything that's in there. So you can see I obviously have quite a few spoons. We'll go a little bit closer up and I'll kind of explain how this works. On each side here, what you have is these little hooks. If I put it at an angle, you can kind of see. These are little hooks that you can hook the eye or the top part of the spoons to and then you stretch it out and then your hook you just put into the foam slits that are here. You can get 10 on each side here. So there's 20 you can fit in each half, 40 in total in this little case. So that's absolutely outstanding. I've got five so I can have a total of 200 different spoons here. Um, it works absolutely awesome. You can see the large variety that I have in each of the cases. 
I absolutely love it. Even these perch talkers um, and perch walkers, these have a tendency, these guys right here, to be really hard to keep straight and not tangled up. This is a great way to do it rather than the big foam boxes or anything like that. I've tried probably eight different solutions in the past and these are the absolute best that I found to keep these things uh, organized and easily accessible. You can see I've even got some of the Tika Minnows in here. Those work out great as well. These don't have necessarily an eye on the back, but they do have a hook on the tail of the Tika Minnow. And then as you go to the front, you have the um, hook as well, but then I just put the treble hook into the foam. So these things are super sturdy in here, easily accessible, the paint's not getting dinged up or anything like that. And then a box where I obviously still have a little bit more space. So these are the Plan B boxes, link down below in the description if you wanna check out how much these are and where you can buy them. Um, these are game changer for me. This is the way I'll store all my spoons um, moving forward unless I find somehow a better solution, but this is pretty dang good. All right, next up, we already talked about this uh, clear case. This is great, uh, so that way I can just grab a split shot out of here and throw it back in there. It's absolutely great for that. All right, so these are the Piranha Clips cases. They have a ton of different variations of these in terms of how they're laid out. I don't remember off the top of my head the name of them, but I'll, I'll put the the down in the description below a link to them so that you can see. What I use these for is my Rip and Wraps, my Z Vibers, my K Rips, the bigger ones that are in here. You can see all I did was I popped the side down, I open it up, and inside of here what I've got is one, two, three, four, five, six rip and wraps right here on the top. What you'll see, the way that they work, is there's a clip down here, it's the same type of material, where you can hook the um, hook directly into that clip so it stays sturdy, and then you've got a piece of foam that goes across here to keep them up so that they're not dinging each other, and then in the lid, there's a line of uh, foam as well. So as I go to close this, they're getting pushed in there with the foam. So you can see if I shake it, these are rattles, so they're making noise, but they don't actually move in the case, which again is super important for making sure that the paint stays good, they're not wiggling themselves loose and getting all tangled up. These things are absolutely incredible. You can see on this side as well, I've got a few more. Z Vibers, some rip and wraps in here. These things are outstanding. And then I've got one where I've got a little bit of space here to still expand. Love these things. All right, and then last but not least, the other thing that I keep in this top part are where I keep all of my little jigs. So these are groove cases. These are the micro jig cases, I think is what they're called. I'll find one here, here's one. It's got a ton of little jigs in it. I'll open this guy up. And you can see clear lid, so you can see directly in them. It's a magnetic lid, so it's great, it doesn't have to latch. And then you can see how many spots there are in here for you to be able to put all of these tiny little jigs. This thing is absolutely incredible. What I love about it is uh, water doesn't stay in here. Sometimes if it gets a little bit of damp, it has a tendency to dry out really quick. And keeping these all organized so that you can see them and they're not clinging to each other is, is absolutely incredible. And if I shut this, it's super sturdy too. If I shake it upside down, rattle it in the case, every once in a while, one or two may come loose after a couple of trips. But with how many jigs that I have here, the fact that most of them stay in place, and if I put it in there really good, they stay absolutely incredible. So these cases are great. So not only do I have the little jigs, which you can see in these first few cases here, I've actually got some of the, what would be considered like your tube jigs in here as well. I do have some of the single hook Z Vibers and K Rips in here, um, some other special designs, different style jigs. These guys, I forget what they're called, but it, it's basically a treble hook with a little bit of color on it. These things work great if you're putting like a live minnow down. I absolutely love them. My little bug uh, ones are, that are in there. And then of course, these ones that everybody absolutely loves. And then this one is probably the most unique. You can see if I shake it, because these ones are all kind of dangling, they dangle back down into place. Let me try to get a better angle here. Let me open it up. 
you can see here, these ones are actually dangling in here and they still work and stay really great. So these are tiny little K-rips and Z-vibers in here with the treble hook. Um, it just didn't make sense to put these in these bigger cases. And so I've got them all in here. These things are great. All I do is fold it to the side so that they can um, allow the lid to close, lid closes. These things are great, super accessible. So again, groove cases, these are the micro jig cases. I will go ahead and link in the description. The bottom compartment of the bag. So in here, what I've got is some camera mounts inside. It's got a front pocket here that zippers open and shut. It's got a, a little belt buckle clip here, um, which holds things in from when you open it up. But I've got a little tiny case here um, that I keep all of my extra hooks and things in that I'm gonna potentially use when I'm out on the ice. This is great for when I'm using live bait or anything like that. But you can see I've got plenty of different uh, size hooks with the little individual separators in here. I don't remember the name of what this case is, but I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll put it in the description. Um, so in case you wanna look at it, it's nice cause you have, you can vary the uh, size of each of these based off the hooks that are in there and you can put as many of these section dividers in there as you want. So this works out really good for my hooks. The other thing that I have in here, I've got a reach back in there. You can kind of see it goes pretty deep all the way under that front pocket is I've got two other little cases here. I've got bobbers in here. So in case I'm gonna be doing some bobber fishing, it's nice and light for that. And then I've got some additional bobbers too. Probably overkill with the number of bobbers that I have. Um, but the nice thing is I never have to worry about, hey, do I have a bobber with or not? If something isn't the right weight or something like that, buoyancy, I can uh, just grab whatever I need. So those three things that are in there. And then the biggest thing that's in here is my uh, softs uh, case. So inside of this, it's a zippered storage. Uh, this is where I keep all of my soft plastics. And as you can see, it keeps them pretty organized. I've got in the front zippered pocket here, just some random stuff. I've got some randoms in this first uh, Ziploc baggy thing too. It's on, a, it's on a two ring binder in here, but you can see it keeps things separate. It keeps them airtight. It's really, really nice. Plus I keep everything in their original bags. I found they have a tendency to last a lot longer that way. I have a ton of soft plastic, so you're gonna see some Euro tackle in here. The different Euro grubs and Euro tackle that I have, the Shrimp X, the Gamma Scud. You can see how much stuff, 13 fishing soft tackle. I've got some of the, you know, the micro nuggies from Little Adam in here. A bunch more of the clam stuff. So anyways, there, there's a ton of soft plastic stuff that I have in here. It's nice to keep them all in one area. And it's nice if I were to like leave this out uh, the sun's not going to get to it. Everything's waterproof that's here. It keeps it in a really compact, nice storage area. So that's what I keep in the bottom. A front pocket here. These clasps are actually pretty dang strong that are on here. We'll go ahead and open her up. Inside of here, you can see there's a couple little pockets. There's a couple little net pockets. There's a bigger pocket, and then there's a pouch down below. I'll take this stuff out and show you what I've got. A fillet knife. It's always nice to have an extra one of those. I usually bring one with my fillet kit as well, but it's nice having an extra one just in case you forget it or something happens to it. Contacts, uh, contact solution in a tiny little mirror. I can't tell you how many times I've been out on the ice, gotten a little something in my eye, and that mirror has come in to save the day with a bottle of water. Some band-aids, you never know if you're gonna hook yourself, cut yourself, and you don't wanna be in a position where it's like, oh shoot, I'm bleeding and I can't get it to stop. It's great to have the band-aids. I've got a knife sharpener. This thing is great. And then I use this um, more in the last couple of years. I don't think I've used it yet this year, but it's a fish identification card kit. It's super nice to have um, when you don't know between some of the subspecies of fish. It's a great way to identify. All right, if we go to the left-hand side of the bag here, I'll go ahead and open this up. So I've got a couple of headlamps and a flashlight that fit right inside of this pocket here. They fit in really nice and snug, really accessible for when you get out really early in the morning or late at night and you wanna have your headlight on. In the lower pocket on the left-hand side, I've got a ton of hand warmers and foot warmers. There's gotta be like 30 of them in here. 
in total. These are great. You never want to be out on the ice and have your fingers get cold or your toes get cold. Um, these things are fantastic. I probably have way too many in here, uh, but I go through them and then I don't have to fill it up every time that I go out on the ice. It'll probably cut a little bit of weight if I pull some of those out of there. On the right hand side of the bag in the top pocket, I kind of use this guy as a little bit of a miscellaneous um, when I have overflow of things. Right now I've got some power bait crappie nibbles in there um, and I think that I've got yeah a couple more in there as well. Uh, I've also got some of these mummy worms, which are um, great when you can't get your hands on actual live waxies. These sometimes work as well. Right hand side, bottom lower pocket. What I've got in here is more crappie nibbles. I've got a lot of my artificial baits that are in here. Gulp food. I've got emerald shiners in a little baggie here. You can see I've got a ton of different things in here. Baby shad. Tons of crappie nibbles, different types of plastics that are in here. This is the scud bug in a container. So this is where I keep all of the containered stuff when I don't have live bait out there. All right, so one last look at the bag here. This is what I keep all that stuff in. Uh, as you can tell, it's super nice and handy to just have it all in one bag. Easy to just grab the strap on the top, carry lift around. Sure, it's not super light, but I've got all the stuff with that I could want to use when I'm out on the ice, whether it's a you know, day trip or it's a long week or weekend trip that I'm gonna be out on the ice for, this bag works out absolutely phenomenal for me. Um, I'll do another video at some point here on how I keep my rod set up. It stays in this big, I got this brand new this year. It's the Otter 48 inch deep case. Um, that's where I keep my extra line and, and tip up things in there. So if you're interested in any of the stuff that I have in here, hopefully a lot of this stuff is a little bit new and unique and you got some really good ideas from the video. If you have questions, put them in the comments below. Thanks again, everybody, for watching the video. If you like the content, again, please hit the like button. It really helps out my channel. Subscribe if you want to see more. I've got more fishing videos coming still later this year. Thanks again, everybody. I appreciate you. Take it easy.